Welcome to the French Drain Man channel. I'm Robert Sherwood and I'm going to show you guys how to build a cistern for irrigation. So this is the dig and this is clay. So we have a pond and the problem is when you irrigate from a lake or a pond the suction line always gets plugged with seaweed and it's just a nuisance, a lot of service calls. It's, it just gets, you know, it gets very tiring, right? So we're going to show you how to build a cistern, and it's like a stone filter, so none of that seaweed could ever get into your irrigation lines and no debris off the bottom of the lake or anything like that either. So I'm going to let you watch the remainder of this excavation. I cut most of that boring digging out for you. I'm going to show you how we line this trench with fabric. Take a look. And I'll come right back and narrate as soon as we get this thing buttoned up.
All right, so if you subscribe to the channel already, and if you don't, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button. We're always doing something fun, something cool, and we try to present it to you guys to where it's not too boring at home. So we built this. This should be familiar to our subscribers. This is a giant burrito-wrapped system. So what that means is it's fully contained. So we have a soil separator. We have our double-punched drainage fabric that, you know, we have special. I mean, we buy huge quantities of commercial double-punched drainage fabric. They only punch it once for highway use. So we punch it a second time for yard drains and we use it for everything so this is going to be a great irrigation system now we have to get the water into the system so this part's a little tricky and you got to have everybody on the same page we have our burrito wrap system we put stone on top of the fabric and now what we're going to do is we're going to start digging in the in the pond it doesn't matter if it's a pond or a lake now remember this one's clay and in Michigan, we have so much clay that you're going to probably find that just about any application near a lake or pond will work like this. So you start digging out the shoreline, the clay right there, and you got to go to the depth of the system that you just installed. But you got to be on the ready. See, there's a little bit of water starting to come through that wall of stone. So... We have a skid loader with a big bucket of cobblestone for when we see this thing start to shift. Right now, we're just trying to dig out all the clay, and we don't want to tear our, you know, the filter fabric. We don't want to tear that because then you're going to get debris in the system, and that's going to defeat the purpose. So I was there as a spotter, and I was literally communicating with the operator and letting them know hey you're up against the fabric because we don't want to tear that we got a perfectly contained burrito wrap system we don't want to you know tear that drainage fabric you know and lose that you know all the work up till now you don't want to compromise the system so as we continue to dig deeper and deeper now the water's rushing in the water's rushing in the system's filling full of water now this system is going to be for a five horse pump and it runs two dozen sprinkler heads at once that throw water 40 feet, 45 feet. So it's a screaming system. And I knew we had to build something that would take in water as fast as that, you know, five horse pump is going to be drying out of this cistern. So real soon here, you're going to see a shift in this burrito wrapped system what happens is once you remove all the clay in that one location so that the water can start being drawn in which it is right now you can see the cloudy water is being pulled into this giant vein of stone and of course we have this monster dual wall it's boffman dual wall culvert pipe that we built this out of so once you get all the clay that was up against that fabric that drainage fabric all of a sudden the weight of the stone on the inside of the fabric is going to start pushing out you'll actually see movement at that time you got to stop we're going to dump a bunch of round rock inch and a half we're going to dump a bunch of it where the shoreline used to be and that's going to act as a filter no aquatic life will get through it you're not gonna have to worry about algae none of that stone filter really does clean up the water that you have in that lake that water supply all right it's full you can see it, it already filled up that quick i mean as soon as you get rid of that clay and you have that that one area you dig out for the water to get to your cistern all right so we're just going to dump a bunch a bunch of stone here so that our burrito wrap system doesn't collapse under its own weight and we've already dumped several buckets in the lake. This is going to work great. I can't wait to show you guys the results because this lawn took a beating. And so did this filter that had to be taken apart all the time because of all the debris that was either at the bottom of the lake or just aquatic life floating around. 
So, you know, even though the video that I have was taken like a week later and the grass ain't fully healed, you see a big difference. I'll take you there now. All right, we built uh, a stone filter for a five horse pump that runs two dozen sprinkler heads. It builds up enough pressure that every sprinkler is throwing water 40 feet. Now to keep up with that, think about that. You can't have any aquatic life on your filter. You can't have it down in the bottom of the lake sucking mud. So that stone filter keeps the system clear of debris, keeps the water flowing freely. And then just look at this, man, this is beautiful. So obviously there were problems before we built the stone filter. And that's why you see the grass has been taxed, but now it won't take long. It will not take long to to get this back to where it once was. All right, everybody, until that next video.